The FIFA 21 beta is ending very soon and the very last batch of codes have just been sent out so in this video we're going to be taking a look at how the last few days of the beta is going to work, how it's going to be ending, when also and then after that what's going to be happening, is there anything before the demo, anything related to Gamescom 2020, we're going to be talking about that in this video so let's get straight into it now, Wednesday the 26th of August was when the final last batch of codes were sent out so a few of you guys have been saying that you were lucky enough to get a code I don't think it was that many people I do think it was quite limited haven't really seen too many people but there's definitely a few out there who were lucky enough to enjoy the last few days of the beta but it is going to be very very limited very short period of time now it is going to be ending on Tuesday the 1st of September so this means from when I'm currently recording this video on the Thursday we only pretty much have four to five days left to continue playing the closed beta if you did get an invite code into it and luckily all of the modes have now been available so for example if you are invited only to pro clubs now you are going to have career mode and ultimate team also available for you so if you did get a code in that last batch I guess it is going to be still good you can still enjoy around less than a week and all of the game modes are available so you can definitely have some good testing at least so for the rest of us if we didn't get a code or even if you got a code what is going to be happening now after the closed beta an open beta is definitely out of the window that is not going to be happening definitely not happening this year for FIFA 21 so what do you think that we are going to be doing for the next few weeks do we have anything planned and what is there to look forward to Gamescom 2020 right now is going on maybe a lot of you guys today are waiting for the Fall Guys season 2 trailer that is part of Gamescom but EA haven't said anything about it in the past maybe only a little bit has been involved but I don't believe it has been involved too much mainly EA hosts their separate events EA play everything like that so Gamescom 2020 doesn't look like we're going to get any FIFA 21 related news we do know that the demo is expected around the 22nd of September I do have a separate video about the release date but is there anything before then I do believe that the top 100 ratings reveal is going to be happening quite soon that is definitely going to be before the demo in FIFA 20 this this was September the 6th you might remember this video with Van Dyke Sterling as well it was a bit of a weird video quite controversial but we did get to see the top 100 ratings on the EA website all of the ratings of Messi, De Bruyne, Ronaldo what are they going to be rated and this is most likely going to be happening very very soon like I said last year September the 6th this was actually four days before the actual demo release so if this year 22nd is going to be the demo release four days before that on the Friday the 18th of September is most likely when we are going to see the top 100 FIFA 21 ratings reveal which is still unfortunately quite far away half a month away around two weeks which is kind of annoying but let me know down in the comments below what you guys expect to get on that day who's going to be the highest rated is it going to be Messi or Ronaldo or maybe someone new taking that role Neymar Kevin De Bruyne I'm interested to know thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time Thank you.